Hey guys, it's Beatty here. We're at the Titans premiere at New York Comic Con. I'm with Raven. This is so cool. First, I've seen the first episodes. Uh, very cool stuff. Yeah. Talk to me about playing Raven and playing like this girl who has these powers and sh she doesn't know how to control them. It's been really interesting because she's so lost and so um, helpless and I feel like a lot of teenagers and people can relate to that is in like they don't really know who they are they don't know what is happening but at the same time she's also so dark and so deep and uh, like evil she's got this evil side to her which was fun to play because I'm not like that in real life uh, hope I hope not oh my gosh I'm gonna <laughs> so um, it was really good to play somebody it was like being somebody different for nine months which was fun that's a lot of fun uh, right in the first episode we kind of see the relationship between Dick Grayson and Raven kind of starting to form and it seems like it might be a little bit of a coaching situation because she needs help yeah. but how, what is that relationship like and how is that going to evolve as the season one progresses yeah. so it's a father-daughter relationship between Dick Grayson and Rachel um, he's really teaching her everything. It's it's paralleling to Batman and Robin, you know, uh, how he took, uh, Batman took him and when he was lost and uh, now he's doing the same thing and he's trying to not make the mistakes he felt that Batman made and he's trying to make her control and understand her darkness rather than hide it and then let it show. You're also a part of some very, very violent sequences in the first episode, which were, I mean, they're fun to watch, but I want to, is that like in, as intense on set as I think it is? Because what is that like? Well, it's interesting because you do some weird stuff on set to um, make that come to life. Like, it was really interesting because it's like a lot of it, some of it's CGI, like the, the whole thing, but um, some of it is just him like, having stuff in his mouth and like uh, so it's kind of weird because half of it is real and half of it is um, like movie magic so it it's fun to film and it's also fun to see the difference of when you watch it yeah, a lot of imagination and then it comes to life and it's like kind of experiencing very, very it twice true. that's yes. cool now, uh, one thing about Raven people from the co people who love the DC comics love her costume so I'm curious, will we get to see kind of an evolution of what you're wearing? Will it lead towards a full-on costume? Well... Or a I version of it? I can't say too much, unfortunately. But she does have the classic hood. And as the series progresses, she goes from kind of a stylized version to the costume to getting more closer to the original, like to the comic version of the costume. Cool, cool. and now my uh, last question for you is what can you tell me about what forces these, this, the, it seems like a band of misfit superheroes to come together. What are they facing? What is, what is the driving force against them? Well, at first it seems like it's just trying to protect Rachel because she feels like her darkness is getting stronger. But as the series progresses, we find out it might be there might be something causing her darkness to get stronger. Ooh, I like that's a good tease. You're a pro. You've done this before. <laughs>